Okay. Mm. Just had to get the giggles out of Pikachu there. <laughs> and they're still continuing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. You're fine. We were just cracking jokes about, I was asking, are you ready? No! <laughs> All right. Giggle. It's super effective. Are you ready? I don't know! <laughs> oh, hey, this is uh, Gray Fox 37. Pikachu <laughs> 23. Are the Bay causing trouble already? Uh, With the number 76. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like Soldier 76, I'm not super gay. But that's your favorite game. <laughs> and there's the uh, 10 to 12 block for day three for Gabriel Night 3. So today, we're going to take control of Gabriel, or tonight, yeah, I forget it's the evening. So we're going to take control of Gabriel tonight, and uh, he's basically going to go scope around, try to figure out what's going on with uh, Wilkes, and uh, you know, kind of follow up on a couple things there. So we're not going to be doing puzzle solving tonight, but... Uh, uh, at least we can just kind of scope people out. Let's you guys see ready? All the crazy stuff yep. that Gabe says. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, you all ready, guys? We all know you're gonna miss that puzzle solving. <laughs> yeah, right. Actually, because this is one. That's one of the coolest parts of the game until you uh, go in and look at stuff near the end. So. <laughs> all right. Here we go. The following takes place between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. Oh no. <laughs> doesn't have his undies on. Uh-oh. <laughs> Time to grab him with his foot. <laughs> uh, before the boxer days. <laughs> oh, get, it won't let you uh, have Gabe go commando? <laughs> oh. So, you're... Oh. Yeah. Kind of inevitable. <laughs> oh, no. Good one, by the way, Pikachu. <laughs> 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 so, did you have breakfast? Uh, no, but I think no. I'll go down. I mean, while you shower and all that. I'll, I'll just get out of your hair, Hello? so... Hello? Mo did, uh, did somebody die? <laughs> hey, Mo. No. Yeah, hi. What's up? Does anyone else hear Twilight Zone music, or, or is it just me? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh-oh. So apparently... What's this? Oh, yeah, Uh-oh. I was going to ask you about that. Where'd you find it? Our friend Larry Chester buried it last night. Or should I say, Larry Sinclair. Sinclair, huh? Son of a bitch. It's about the Stewart bloodline. Did you read it then? I just skimmed it. I've been working on the treasure map. Oh. Well, would you mind reading it? <laughs> I've got to figure out why Sinclair lied, and why he felt compelled to play Jolly Roger last night. Say, I'll read it, you know, if you're busy with the man. No. <laughs> Grace will do it. Why the hell are you so interested anyway? Just trying to be helpful. Jeez, fine. I'll no, be you're tough. being suspicious. <laughs> Don't do that! <laughs> Wait. Um, Grace, no. I'll grab a shower later, so, uh, you know, the room's all yours. <laughs> Wait. God, get a grip, Matt. <laughs> Don't blow your cover, Mosley. Mosley, shut up. <laughs> Here we go. Christ, you retard! This better not be about what I think it's about. Mostly! Oh, <laughs> shit. <sighs> I'm going to my room. I'll come by later if you want to talk about it. So we're noticing that Roxanne is going into Wilkes' room with Jean. Mm. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go spy on them. Oh, I tell you, Jean, I feel it. Something is wrong. Perhaps Monsieur Weeks spends the night with another guest. No, I have already cleaned Mademoiselle Butan's room, and where else could he have been? The American girl stays with her boss. As for the Lady Howard and Estelle... Hmm. Enough, mm. Roxanne. Lock the door and touch <laughs> nothing. We shall see if Monsieur Weeks returns. Oh, As for Lady oui, Howard, she's too So now uh, we're going to go inside. Oui, Monsieur Knight? I noticed y'all coming in here. Is Mr. Wilkes okay? Oh, I hope so. Shh. Everything is fine, Monsieur. Not to worry your head. Roxanne here, she's only the little bit cautious. <laughs> oh, oui. I'm sure everything is fine. Come, come. We will leave the room for Monsieur Wilkes' return. Roxanne, back to work. Back to work. And Monsieur? Thank you for the so kindly made offer of assistance. Hey, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I almost hate to say this, but when I see the facial animations, it gives me reboot flashbacks from Toonami. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we're going to do next is we're finally going to be able to go into the supply closet. There's Jean going downstairs. Jean is very happy that you came. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He's as happy as bees yep. on honey. <laughs> So now, what we're going to do, while I move around like a retard, there we go, <laughs> okay. we're going to come into the supply closet finally and check on Roxanne. Now for What's some humor. Here? Excuse me, <laughs> Roxanne. Oh, Monsieur Knight, do you need something? No. So, <laughs> before, <laughs> before we select the options, we're going to take a look around and here's the... I know oh, Artist's going to love one of these, but this first, what we're going to do is we're going to <laughs> burn through the options here. So first, we're going to look at Roxanne. And I thought the French maid in Clue had big um, uh, feather dusters. <laughs> 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 but that was just one of the oh, possible dear. options. This we're going really we're gonna to pick up Roxanne. <laughs> And carry her out of the building, bodyguard style, like Kevin Costner. <laughs> huh. I got myself in enough trouble already. Oh! <laughs> now we're going to smell her. <laughs> I smell her. <laughs> but, <laughs> but what what whiff of a woman isn't complete isn't complete with attempting to tie her up. Still on that one, are we? Two will get help. I forgot about that. I don't have a gun. <laughs> Mr. Knight, that is not regulation BDSM. You forgot your collar and and um handcuffs and other shit. I'm sorry, I left it in my other bondage gimp outfit. Oh Jesus! Oh dear! Your Gertrude. No. Artist is done being horrible for a bit. <laughs> I, I, I shut up, we're gaming. <laughs> right, so, we didn't make up these options. They're literally right there. Look. <laughs> so, so we're going to look at Roxanne's spare uh, outfit. Oh, no, it looks so much more... <laughs> Oh, no. let's, let's pick it up. Doing drag is definitely not in my country. <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh, why not? It would be funny. <laughs> Sorry if I blew your ears out, audience, but unless you're Sorry. a Rocky Horror. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. Oh, <laughs> See, no. there's two. That's one of the two ironies that's oh. actually in this room. So that's one of them because, you know, Tim Curry was, oh, you know, yeah. Dr. Frankenfurter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, here we go. Oh, here's the, here's oh, yeah. the second one. Here's the second one. So, here, look at it. I believe it's a medieval torture device. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the mop and ringer. So here's what happens when you use it. And this is something that artist's going to get. Oh, no. <laughs> you must be confusing me with Roger Oh, my Wilco. God. He really was. <laughs> Roger Wilco. And there is the homage <laughs> to uh, Space Quest. So there you go. <laughs> I knew that he's Roger Wilco from Space Quest. Oh, there you go. No. So now we're going <laughs> to so look at the cleaning supplies. Look, Inspector. It was the med it was the cleaning product. <laughs> so we got two clue references in one room. How yeah, is right? that? <laughs> oh, and then dear. we'll look at the linen. Nice ironing. But they could use some it's bleach. Just some bleach. Ooh, so let's take them. <laughs> yeah. Well, we do need new sheets, but uh -huh. but yeah. Roxanne will take care of it. Once we're um. <laughs> let's taste the cleaning product. <laughs> oh, last night wasn't that. <laughs> <bad>. <laughs> See, this whole room is just a big joke. Oh, I love it. Once we're done with the whole game, we need to play the Halloween song from the uh, 1980s oh, from, first uh, witch the movie witch? that he okay. sings. We totally right. need to play All it. All right, we'll do oh that. That's God. fine. We'll, we'll definitely do that. 
as kind of like a send off for Tim Curry because yeah. you know he's selling liquid sex to little girls and that. So <laughs> yeah. there you go. Oh my okay. God. <laughs> so now awesome. <laughs> we're going to talk to Roxanne finally. Oh, no. <laughs> we're going to flirt with her. So the humor's not done yet. Oh. Check this shit out. Say, Roxanne. <laughs> My pants are a little dirty. Would you be able to clean them for me? Oh, oui, certainly. Just leave them with me. Oh, gee, I was kind of hoping you'd do it while I wait. Oh, oh, but, 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 monsieur, you would not be wearing any pants. Call me Gabriel. Call me Gabriel. Oh, <laughs> oh, you do it with me, no? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, I, I know that feeling all too well. I'm a real kid. I, I'm a joke maker. Joke maker, yeah. But yeah. Oh, no. Call me Gabriel. Oh, Call me Gabriel. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now we got to, unfortunately, we have to get back to the game now. No! <laughs> so we're going to talk to uh, Wilkes now, or about Wilkes now. About Mr. Wilkes. You know something? I have learned to trust a woman's instincts. You have? Sure. So, what got you upset this morning? Oh, monsieur, I am very afraid for Mr. Wilkes. This morning his window, it is wide open, and things in his room, they are not right. Usually, I find his night clothes on the floor, yes? But this morning, there is no sign of them, and his razor and toothbrush, they have not been used. It is as if he never got up this morning. Yet, he is not there. Gee, that sounds bad. Why don't you let me take a look? Uh, I, I don't know. Roxanne, this could be serious. Mr. Wilkes would want us to make sure he's not in any trouble. I agree. That is why I go to Jean. But he thinks I have the big, uh, imagination. Personally, I've learned never to underestimate a woman. <laughs> Monsieur. <laughs> All right, I will show you. Follow me. Please, <laughs> Monsieur Knight, <laughs> if Monsieur Wilkes <laughs> returns, no, do not tell him I you in. Yes? I want All American, not the good French It's, um, ones. it's Gabe who has the big imagination. imagination. Staring at you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, he's got a big imagination. That's why it gave you all those awkward options. <laughs> thump thump. Okay. Oh dear. So okay. we're in the room. Uh -oh. Creepy. The windows are wide open. So I'll take a look at them. It's wide open, all right. Creepy. My it reminds me of my dream. Sentiment exactly. Well, think about it. I don't see any signs of forced entry on the window. Take a look in the closet, just cause. Let's take a gander. That's as ugly as the one in our room. You. <laughs> Let's close it. <laughs> now here's what happens if you try to close the windows. I'd better leave it. Take a look at the dumb waiter. I doubt the dumb waiter factors into this. You have sure? to be pretty desperate and limber, and limber to get, get in, in that, that way. way. Um, but you did it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So let's look at his luggage. That's his clothes, but where's his equipment? Let's look at his that bed. That was really suggestive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. <laughs> it's just his clothes. I can't see his junk. The springs are a bit overworked, but other than that... The springs are a bit overworked. <clears throat> yeah. It's, Wilkes is a big guy. <laughs> well, he's a big guy and he's been humping. <laughs> um, probably. I'm sure so he's then, got somebody. If you look on the desk here... Oh. Looks, his keys are still here, so he couldn't have left town. Yep. Uh-oh. Let's take it. I don't because need Wilkes' moped. <laughs> yes, Darn. we do. Hoping for a little uh, comedic there. Not, uh, And then he walk throughs actually even look at the moped keys or even go in here to take a look around. Doesn't look wet. He definitely hasn't showered this morning. How can hmm, you not come in here to look? Those haven't been used lately. Let's go get some bathroom humor again with the <gasps> ominous music. Oh dear. Nope. Those Oops. Don't. My bad. Well, he didn't take his toilet paper with him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look in the John. His Highness's throne. His Highness's throne. Let's open it. Not. 
on your <laughs> life. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, He's we, toilet prejudiced, he right? We had to see if he was hiding anything in the john. I mean, Ew. come on. I mean, come on. <laughs> well, technically, if you can tell it hasn't been used, it's a clue. Well, don't you understand? He's I'm getting little such little a raging there. clue. Yeah. Pikachu, <laughs> my clue's pointing this way. This way. <laughs> yeah, I've seen enough of All this right. in my space Let's, <laughs> <laughs> Let's go talk to the Mosemeister. But I don't want to. <laughs> He's being <laughs> awful right now. Be brave, Pikachu. Get in here. I'm listening. See? All right, so we'll talk with them. Mostly. <laughs> About Grace. Well, oh, I really rude. did it this time. I knew it. You did, didn't you? Did you? Yeah. Oi! Key Rust! Ah, oh, come on. How about some support here? Oh, what happened anyway? When she left here last night, she didn't want anything to do with you. Well, it was an accident. Right. You're the only guy I know who could accidentally end up in bed with the most beautiful woman for 50 miles. What about Madeline? What about Madeline? Shake. And what about you Roxanne? Know, you got kind of a reverse rose-colored mm. glasses thing going on. Must be your fear of commitment affecting your optical nerves. Grace is beautiful. She's nice. She's smart. She's funny. You ought to have your head examined. And besides which, I ought to break your neck for hurting her feelings. Did you get a look at her face this morning? No, knock it off. I feel bad enough. I just don't know how to act. I mean, God, she's like my sister or something. Oh. Well, I suppose you could try to talk to her about your feelings, get it all out in the open. They I think. That. <clears throat> nah. <laughs> I'll tell you. Never bruise will be bruise. Oh. Oh. Ouch. Really? Oh God, they just act like nothing happened. Try it. Okay. Ouch. And that's funny, because that's slightly sage advice coming from the Mosemeister, so we're going to exit. Yeah. He doesn't say anything. Mostly gets one point. <laughs> Mostly gets Mose one point. actually <laughs> said something smart for once. <clears throat> so let's go talk to... Oh, you know what? Let's push the buzzer. Yeah, let's... It's funny. I could buzz Grace, but she'd probably come down and break my fingers. And then we'll Ouch. get the muffin butt speech again, probably. <laughs> so let's go talk to Jean. <clears throat> Talk about Wilkes. Have you seen Wilkes yet, John? No, monsieur. Have you? No. no. Oh, I'm sure he'll be popping it up any time now. <laughs> wow! <laughs> popping it up. <laughs> Sometimes this game doesn't know what it's saying. <laughs> I assume it's a like awkward translation of... of because, you know, where he's from and all that, but wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, so we're just going to briefly walk over to the church real <laughs> quick just to do a little, uh, you know, voice thing. Not many people in walkthroughs do this as well, so. Or it's just Tim Curry being Tim Curry. <laughs> no, that was Jean that talking, would, my yeah, friend. Yeah, dude. That was Jean Don't talking. Don't be confused. <laughs> all right, so come up to the door, <laughs> knock on it. <clears throat> Hello. The office is closed today. There are pamphlets on the desk if you need information. Oh, okay. Thanks. How rude! It's technically only logical to kind of do that because you're trying to talk to him about the priory and all that junk. Yeah. So we're going to um, leave town now and we're going to head over mm. to uh, Lone Mort and oh. uh, basically, you know... Check on those footprints that uh, that Grace found in the prior blocks. So. Mm. I'll go get the Harley. Time to have a date with your bike. <laughs> All right. See you. He's conflicted on whether he wants to date Grace or his bike. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to rev up his Harley because Mr. J won't do it. All right. So mm. let's take a look at the footprints. Hmm, that's a big old wilk size footprint. Over the hill we go. Oh, shit. Mm. I found Wilkes. Poor bastard. Oh, dear. Interesting pajamas he wears at night. 
Kyra looks like artists in a sense. Wow. <laughs> oh, he's yeah, wearing plaid ones. <laughs> oh, um, got, yeah, that's interesting. They're little white, black, and pink fishies on a blue on a blue uh, <laughs> overcoat. <laughs> Girlfriend, it needs to be purple and pink and white. So let's Don't look you at know? him. It's 2019. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> yep. Hey, uh, Artist, even I'm not that girly. Let's What's wrong with you? <laughs> they must have pulled him from his room last night, but no one heard a thing. How do they do that? And why Wilkes? It would have been sick if they put like a talking option in it. <laughs> you know, for him. So now we're going to look at the gash. Been completely drained. Just like the two dead Freemasons. Now let's look under his body. Ugh. Gabe finds a letter. Aww. It's from Wilkes to his publisher. He must have been worried about someone seeing it, so he took it to bed with him. Apparently he was right to be paranoid. Alright, so we're going to look at the letter. Dear Mr. Bakabank, I'm happy to report that any everything has gone even better than I had hoped. I confirmed not only the instance of the object, but found a group of uh, caves that I think will provide access. I'll take lots of pictures and maybe pop by New York when I leave here. Right. But I wanted to let you know that you can start uh, clearing the ca the candor or calendar for my book. It's sorry. Curse of Chicken Scratch. Yeah. I think we should uh, get to it, get it out ASAP. And because there's lots of Snoop's nosing around this thing, and I want to uh, be sure for sure they don't get to it or let or beat us to it, Wilkes. Oh. So we have kind of go around the corner, and here's the blood and the knee indentations. Either the Red Cross had an accident here or I found Wilkes' missing blood. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> Let's think on it. I'd oh. rather not, thanks. <laughs> Let's look at yeah. the knee indentations. Knee indentations. Just like mm. at the armchair. God. Mm -hmm. And then let's think on it. They held Wilkes here while they drained his blood. He wasn't exactly small either. Nope. All right. So, that's pretty much it for the murder site there. He's very greedy, but this sucks. And he's not a bad guy, really. He just, you know. Yeah. Uh, he's a pervert, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, well. The real treasure's right here. <laughs> well, they just killed him because he had bad taste in pajama bottoms. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Good one. Orange fashion police, open up. <laughs> Good one, Hardy. So... What we're going to do now is we're just going to swing by the armchair real quick and just get a little different dialogue here uh -oh. after what we've just seen because so, the uh, bodies aren't there anymore. Oh. So we go over and then you just kind of look at it. It looks a lot less threatening now that it's empty. <laughs> Use it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Think on it. It does kind of look like a chair. Then again, I want some Madonna in a plate of spaghetti. Oh, that's <laughs> now we're look uh, at the disturbing. Little symbols. There's scratches on the rock. They're old though. Probably not related to the murder. All right. Mm. So there you go. That's just kind of little diversion in case you ever wondered what would happen without the bodies on there. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna go to. Howard, or and, uh, Lady Howard Nestel's site. What were you laughing at? Madonna can't have a baby. She's not pregnant. She's or not she's, even married. She's not even married. That's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> she's going to save the world by adopting all the Good children. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you don't yep. have the license plate number yet, you can snag it there if you want to. But we already got it. So, all right. So favorite we're go people in the world. Yep. To Ugh. Pikachu's absolute favorite characters in the whole wide game. They're so delightful. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's take a look at Estelle. Oh, oh dear. poor Estelle. She's kind of like a faithful bulldog, isn't she? <laughs> poor to be let's good. Let's take a look at the hole. Person. Uh, won't let us. So here's a water yeah. bottle. It looks like an empty plastic water bottle to me. Water it's got to be Estelle's. Lady Howard's lips have probably never touched plastic in her life. 
Oh. <laughs> All right, <Water> so <laughs> here's what here's a great idea. Let's use the fingerprint kit, but Estelle may not be the brightest bulb on the planet, but she's not blind. <laughs> Are you sure she's not blind? Let's look at uh, Lady Howard. Well, here's the scene Let's of domestic not. bliss. Oh, <laughs> let's ugh. talk to them. They won't like it. Morning, ladies. Oh, it's you. What are it's you doing you. here? Oh, just passing by. I see you've narrowed down your theory. Really? Some people haven't the slightest consideration. It's all right, Lily. Bother. It is not. Do you mind, Mr. Knight? It's Obviously, we're I bothering you. Enterprise and we don't need any help or supervision from you. I wasn't offering any. Very well. Then be gone. Go on. Pish posh. You are the you're more <laughs> rude than Madeline. So That's not many. Scary. So not many walkthroughs do that either. So there you go. There. All she right. Like probably she, why. She looks like she had a bucket of paint from the 1970s dumped on her before she got there. Oh God. Um, I'm glad I can't see her. So we're gonna go over to Pawson's tomb or Pusan's tomb. Yes. I love the background there because it actually looks like a painting <laughs> or like a stage set. <laughs> Whoops, cool. divided up the middle. Apparently. Got old 1999 graphics for you there. Yeah. All right, so we're going to talk to Emilio. Hello. Let's look at him. wonder what Emilio's doing here. Mm, and then uh, let's do the uh, Zoom thing here. Somebody wrote wuss. <laughs> Must be <laughs> <the> <laughs> All right, so oh, let's go dear. ahead and talk to Emilio. Hi, Emilio. Hello, Mr. Knight. So, what you doing up here? Uh, just looking for a quiet spot to meditate. Funny. A, Most people prefer Tour Mandela or Blanchfort to uh, meditate. Do they? This location too has its benefits. You know. It's very charming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I totally want to meditate at a grave now. Oh, there's <laughs> one across the street from our house. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Actually, we live there across is. from a graveyard. Yeah, <laughs> it's <Yeah>. creepy. <laughs> All right. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go talk to our dear friend Larry Chester, or should I say, Larry Sinclair. This is gonna be a fun conversation. We know that you're really shockwave. Us. Now, there's a space gate. And are you working oh, the space bridge, one? yeah. Yeah. So there's Larry working on his computer, and let's go to the door. Transform now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear God. I have it's nothing to say to you. you. Yes, oh, you do. I think you do, Mr. Sinclair. Oh. Perhaps you had better come in. <laughs> Maybe. I've learned that you were, in fact, hired by Prince James. Good. But that doesn't excuse your prying into my affairs. You've destroyed my cover. See now, that's the problem with secrets and lies. It's impossible to tell which ones might be relevant until you dig them up and take a good whip. That's between <laughs> you and Prince James. But I can tell you... You're treading on thin ice. This is a delicate situation. You might find yourself in very hot water indeed. I'm That's getting where, confused. Uh, Am I supposed Gabe to watch out for thin ice or hot water? Yeah, very me too. amusing, I'm sure. We'll see how your cavalier attitude serves you with the prince. Now, what is it that you want? Now... I just realized that there's something I need to do that I should have oh. done before I did this. I'm gonna oh. s hopefully this doesn't mess it up. So let's see. I have to go. As you wish. Hopefully I can come back and talk to him. So sorry about this. This is really goofy and sped of me, but I need to go back to Ren Le Chateau. All right, let's see what happens here. We may have to restart the block if. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no! If I screwed things up here, so. Mm. 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 Alright. So we're going to go upstairs. Go to the door. Please don't mess up. Yes! Oh. Ah! 
what are you doing? <laughs> I was uh, <laughs> I was just gonna talk to Grace, uh, but yeah, she's in the shower. And... Huh. So right. Uh, see. <laughs> Mostly. That Mostly's was got totally a newspaper suspicious. rolled up. Yeah. See. He goes into the room. Oi. I'll catch up with you later. And Madeline's going there. <clears throat> Mosey's like, come on in. <laughs> He's all checking his little scraps out here. This is a fruit bin. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. A couple things I forgot to do as well. Oh. Putting in the fingerprint. Oh, yeah. For Mr. Sinclair. Oh. Secret construction project, Mr. Oh, and actually, we'll go to uh, add data. <coughs> Excuse me. And just gotta add Mr. Sinclair's fingerprint. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you're considering, away, Mr. Knight. I am not a member of, I am a member of the Subdeclan Vanguard. I mean, the, uh, mm -hmm. the Yes. <laughs> right. Hmm. <gasps> We're gonna add or link to suspect, but we can't do it. Yet. Oh, it close out of that. So here we go. So we're gonna link to suspect. There we go. All right. When we get out of the music, I'll uh, explain what's going on. So let's go in and join Grace. It won't let you. <laughs> really? I'm pretty sure it won't. <laughs> I know. I think Grace can take a shower by herself. No. <laughs> and I was asking sarcastically, Pikachu. So. <laughs> oh, oops, I guess I didn't catch that for some reason. Oops, I hope that wasn't steroids. <laughs> Plus, oh, we no. don't want to get demonetized now. Wait, wait, okay. wait. But which, which kind? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, the reason why I had to do that was if I didn't do that, we wouldn't see the scene of uh, Mosley coming out of the run that I would have missed some points there. So Oops. thank goodness the game caught that. I'll so now <laughs> yeah. we've left Larry hanging. Now we're going to go back and talk with this him. This is and probably going to be funny. He's going to see mad. an extra scene. So here oh, we go. No. All right. So here we go. Oh dear. Shockwave. <laughs> Come on. Uh oh. And he lets you in. <laughs> so look at the sparsity of that what room. What is it now? Everything! Right. So. Now we're going to ask about the manuscript. I wanted talk to talk to you about now. your bloodline manuscript. How did you know about that? I followed you last night and dug it up. You what? This is outrageous. I hope you can appreciate yes. my motivation. I was in the room when Prince James's son was taken. There's very little I wouldn't do to find him. I can't fathom why an outsider like you was hired in the first place. It's absurd. But now that you've seen my no, manuscript, it's not. I hope you finally comprehend that I am not the kidnapper. It's not incriminating in that regard, no. Where is the manuscript? You Somewhere. didn't remove it, did you? I didn't think it was good for it, being out in that damp ground and all. <laughs> you must return it at once. Yeah, uh-huh, I will. But it's at the hotel at the moment, though. Mr. Knight, I suggest you bring it back here immediately. Because if anything happens to that manuscript, Prince James will be very displeased. I will. No problem. Don't have a digital copy. So we're and Megatron about... will be mad too. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to talk about the baby. Prince James implied that the kidnapping was political. Would the manuscript have anything to do with it? It could. There are those who take exception to the idea of Prince James being on the throne. The throne? What so... throne? Never mind. <laughs> so let's ask about Montreux. Do you know Montreux, the owner of the local vineyard? I know of him, of course. It's a small area. Is he one of yours, by any chance? A Freemason? No. He's At least he's not creepy. Scottish right. I'll ask about Ren Le Chateau. Here's what I don't get. <coughs> Why are you working on the manuscript here? Obviously, you don't need the Templar vibes. There's usually one of us in the area, just to 
keep an eye out. For what? Well, Treasure hunters? For anything. But why you? There is a certain opposition to the manuscript. The work on it was to be done discreetly. And you figured they'd never suspect you'd work on it here. Something like that. Of course, you've quite destroyed my anonymity. And we'll ask about the throne. The manuscript promotes Prince James as king of what? Scotland? No, oh, it doesn't promote him as anything, per se. It simply lays out the genealogies. He's clearly the best candidate. Best candidate for what? Are you talking about Scottish independence? No. In our modern world, Scotland is a very small principality indeed. England? The Stuarts have vowed they'd never accept the English throne. Well, what then? It's not for me to say. <laughs> so, you probably can guess. Megatron ordered me not to. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we'll leave. I have to go. As you wish. Now leave, Mr. I have to go again. Because <laughs> yeah, again. Again. Gray Fox almost effed up there. Uh-oh. Alright. Oh dear, here so comes chase time. Now we're going to head back to Run chase, Le Chateau. Chase, chase, chase. What chase? The chase. There's to no find chase. the thing. There's no chase. Mm-hmm. Not right now. Well, technically. <laughs> Oh, brother. I'm trying not to create a huge spoiler, so there is going to be a chase. Too <laughs> late. <gasps> you know what? Chase, Gabe chase, needs some chase, coffee. Chase. And this time the spoiler wasn't my fault. He so won't uh, eat so yeah. sure. <laughs> let's chug. Since nobody else drinks it. Nope. wonder how many times nope. they wash those cups a day. I don't want to know. <laughs> They're really little, so I don't really care. <laughs> Having worked in blue collar food service myself, you don't want to know the answer. <laughs> There's a moth yeah. flying around. Ew! <laughs> no way! <laughs> <laughs> now we need some moth memes. <laughs> Alright, so, oh. you're about to go in the room, and then Madeline comes out. Bonjour. Hey. With the newspaper. That's totally Check her not out. weird. She's just hanging out, isn't she? If you no. loop around, you see Bucelli. You take a look at him. Signore Bucelli. <laughs> Stop Italian. saying his name, Brad. It <laughs> he sounds can't help awful. it. He's from New Orleans. I know, but right. he did that little French accent thingy in the um, what's it called? Windows closed. In the oh dear, in so the um closet. So why not? Come on. There we go. Get all that stank out there of there. <laughs> <laughs> Close the window, you're letting the stank out! Because they <laughs> apparently don't have a fan. So now, we're gonna go look at Grace. Hey, no. that girl's a worker, isn't she? <laughs> yep. And we're gonna go talk to her. Please, say something. 666! Uh-oh. So, let's talk about scary, the manuscript. Scary, scary, Did you scary, check scary. out the Bloodline manuscript? Yeah, pretty interesting. Where do you want me to start? I don't know. So a huge list pops up, and this is where the plot begins to thicken. Yes. So we'll talk about the bloodline. What's the manuscript say about the bloodline? The bloodline thing is major. The descendants of Jesus are called Disposini. Their symbol is the unicorn. Unicorn? Yep. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, the horn represents the male phallic symbol, and the unicorn itself represents the fertile Jesus. Well, no wonder the Catholic Church had a conniption. But yeah. is there any way this bloodland thing could be legit? Well, there's no reason why Jesus shouldn't have married and had children, unless you believe any kind of sex is a sin. Personally, um, they I don't. don't. And you certainly don't. That's just the land I feed Catholic girls, but go on. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and it's the kind of thing the early church might have suppressed, if for no other reason than to make sure the bishops of the church had all the power and not the descendants. That explains yep. how it might be possible, but it's hardly proof. True, but no. if it's all a myth, it's a very old myth. The royal arms of Scotland show a Davidic lion of Judah, Disposinic unicorn, and the Jewish fleur-de-lis. So they've believed they were disposing from the Middle Ages, at least. So now we'll talk about the Freemasons. What's the manuscript say about the Freemasons? 
The manuscript came right out and said that the original split between the Templars and the Priory of Sion was over the bloodline. The Priory wanted to support certain French families of Merovingian descent, while the Templars supported the emerging Stuart dynasty. I think it's pretty clear that the Freemasons and the Priory are still fighting over the same issue. Now I'll talk yeah. about the Grail. Does Sinclair mention the Holy Grail in the manuscript? The Grail represents the bloodline and a kind of noblesse oblige duty to serve mankind. But also, remember what you heard on the train? You heard the kidnapper say San Grael. Yeah? The manuscript says the words Holy Grail were actually a mistranslation. The original phrase wasn't San Grael or Holy Grail, but Sang Grael. Sang Grael? What's that mean? Blood Grail. Royal or Royal Blood. The Holy Grail is the bloodline, Gabriel. That's what's so creepy. Wow. Creepy. I wonder if that's what they were saying on the train. It's royal blood. That's what I've been wondering. Kind of brings the whole vampire theory back onto the playing field, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Yep. <laughs> so now we're going to talk about Mallory and McDougal. I'm still not sure I see the connection between Sinclair and Prince James's men. The manuscript did mention Prince James. It, it traced the various branches of the bloodline all the way down to the present day. It was obviously making the point that the Stuarts have the largest, purest amount of the blood, and Prince James is mentioned as the current Stuart heir. Uh-oh. Yep, now about the throne. Did you get the impression that the manuscript was trying to set <coughs> Prince James up for something? It certainly went to great lengths about his pedigree. I guess the royal families find that terribly irrelevant. What about <laughs> rulership? Did it mention anything about a throne? Yeah, actually. It talked about the European Union a lot. How any system of government ideally has both a parliament and a monarchy. Hmm. You don't think they're trying to... <laughs> no. No, no, no. Position the House of Stuart as monarchs over the EU. Yeah, I think that's exactly what they're trying to do. <laughs> God. Mm -hmm. No wonder Sinclair is hiding out here. Dun dun dun. Yep. Now we're gonna ask about the unicorn. Is there, uh, is there anything more in there about the unicorn imagery? Um, a bit. You know all those medieval tapestries that show a unicorn in a garden or a, a unicorn being hunted? Yeah. Supposedly, they all represent the disposony being suppressed by the church. Oh. <laughs> now we'll talk about Wilkes. Guess what I found today? What? Wilkes' corpse. What? Uh -huh. I found him at long.